One of the best hundreds you'll ever see. Super 100, absolutely stunning. 16 fours, and what a way to bring it up. A cover drive of the highest quality. That's Craig McMillan. Whatever you think, just think the opposite. Don't leave it to Scotty, I'll do it myself. Well, incredible comeback by the New Zealanders, wasn't it? Led by Chris Martin, six wickets, outstanding performance along with the wicket of Gary Kirsten and Cullis. They were the two gems that New Zealand so badly was going after and they picked them up in quick succession. 123.3 overs and South Africa humbled after starting the day at 231. The two best bowling figures in first class cricket, let alone test cricket for Chris Martin. Six for 76. Tuffy one for 41, chimed in. Two for 60, Oram, who was quite superb. Cairns one for 54. Still sits on 199, but overall that New Zealand bowling unit was much more together, much more into it this morning. At 2 for 12, New Zealand were poised on the brink of poor start. In fact, an early collapse. Richardson and Styrus pulled it round with a tremendous partnership of 125 for the third wicket. And then McMillan at the end of the day, who was everything positive as he normally is, even in a situation where New Zealand could ill afford to lose another wicket. The story though, Scott Styrus, Test 100 number three, one of the better ones in a difficult situation on a pitch that had produced so many wickets earlier in the day. He was so positive, his stroke play was assured, and that 118 not out was fully deserved. South Africa toiled hard. Pollock picked up his wicket he was after. 331 now, and he's gone past Alan Donald, but that was his only reward. Tini won for 44 to Brugge, but uh, some early punishment have fought back quite nicely. None for 46. Hallis won for 54. He's an experimental bowler. He's not quite as quick as he used to be. And uh, he goes for a few more runs from time to time. 5.40 was quite too good for New Zealand's cause in the context of the day. And Nicky Boyer opted a little bit of punishment, which could be signal for tomorrow. 201 for three New Zealand. And there you have it, McMillan and Styrus ready to resume this morning. Devon Smith. Little run away for four. Oh well. This time he's found the gap. Two full from Antini. Pounced upon by McMillan. Wait! Through the gap. And that uh, will race away to the point boundary for four. Well, he got it through. That's a brilliant piece of batting. He had to make the adjustment there, Styrus, because he couldn't pick it up straight, so he's decided I've got to hit it a bit squarer. Through the gap, and he's uh, got it through this time. Scott Styrus, and that's about the use of the wrist. Hitting the ball a little later and a little squarer, and that's the 100 partnership. Can't stop that. That is placement superb. In the end, wide. No luck for Jacques Cullis in this over. Yep. He wants the run, and there it is 150 for Scott Styrus. A quite marvellous effort from the Northern Districts man. He raises his bat. It's been a real pleasure to watch. He's carried on his fantastic work from yesterday. Takes the congratulations from Craig McMillan. Yeah, more of a graft this morning, but he's uh, really presented that full face, and it's been a broad bat from uh, Scott Starris. Oh, Slice of luck from McMillan. About to throws down the stumps. But McMillan will raise his bat because that's his 50. And that's been a fine hand too. 124 runs he's added now with Scott Styrus. And there's a man at mid-on. But that's just gone over the heads of mid-on. Gone! Can you believe it? It's worked! 
Styrus has just pushed forward. And Pollock's taken a, a pretty simple catch in the end, just gently off the outside edge. A real non-event, but it's a huge one for South Africa. And Graham Smith, he got it right. Got to pat him on the back for that, but it is all a bit anticlimactic. As I think Styrus opened the face, looking to push a little bit hard at that. The ball just got a little bit of turn. Took an outside edge. Drives, pulls, cuts. And at rapid sort of pace as well. Scott Styrus, 170. Caught Pollock. Bold Boyer. And that's uh, first runs off to lunch. Good looking shot. It's going to be a tight race. Picks up three. Good start for McCullum. Little bit of swing. Outside edge over the top. He committed himself to the shot, did uh, Craig McMillan. Oh, wonderful delivery, that one. That lovely back end of a length. He's uh, shown the outswinger to McMillan. This is uh, one of his stock deliveries. Over the years, you've seen batsmen just get squared up and just a little bit of fishing outside off stump. And, uh, that's the uh, reply. Just chip it over the top of mid on. Oh, he went the other way, too short. McMillan pounced on it. He'll be mighty disappointed without Sean Pollock. 304 for four. As Craig McMillan goes past the 3,000. Oh, turns give it up with nine to go. Well, <laughs> take that. This is uh, real Calypso stuff. Look at that. It's not very wide at all. It's coming back with the angle from Akira and Tini. He's just a little late back cut. See, that's just outside off stump. He's created his own width there and used the pace of Nantini and kept it down beautifully. A good, oh, a great replay. This had a stump cam. How close that was. That's a better line. Oh, he's unlucky. The last one was a good shot. Price cover. Gone. 